So today's video has absolutely no plan, and for a natural planner like myself, that's a bit nerve-wracking. But I'm just gonna be wandering the streets of Zurich, trying to take some cool photos, and uh, just see what the city has to offer. I've explored a little bit uh, with my friend, but yeah, beyond that, it's gonna be, uh, I have no clue what I'm gonna do today, so uh, let's get lost. But first things first, I gotta get some coffee. Switzerland is really living up to the uh, most expensive country part because this tiny little latte was about 450 francs and that's about five dollars USD I think so tiny little thing five bucks I'm gonna tell you already I'm gonna get in trouble here in the train station I'm at Zurich HB right now it is gorgeous and there's a lot of interesting people and I'm gonna spend hours here I just know it I think we got kind of a cool shot here with the leading line up to the statue. Some of these people are kind of like silhouetted too, so I'm gonna to try to get some of these similar like this. Zoom in. It was like blown out. Yeah, something more like that. I think you're maybe about 20 minutes so far. I have to go to the wet for lunch soon, but we'll see some other places too, take some photos. So I think you'll have to go all the way from here. Um, but wow, really cool. I think about trying to get some shot like this where it's like right down the angle, forced perspective, something like this, but like a little closer. We have to put the phone down to check this out, but I'll probably put like a photo in here somewhere. Okay, so I am on the way to go meet my friend for lunch, take tram line 17, and I think I'm in the right place. Not 100% sure though. Update, I was in fact in the wrong place, but you know, getting lost is all part of the adventure. Okay, I think I'm getting closer to the right spot. There we go. Now the big hope is that I'm actually heading in the right direction. I'm not totally sure about that. Something I've noticed here, uh, and I think maybe it's a little more, stands out to me a little bit more, just because I'm back from New York, but it's pretty quiet, but it's still live. I mean, there's plenty of people around. Sundays, and all the shops are really closed, but people are just out enjoying life. And like here, there's a lot of people out. Like I know right here I found one spot where there's not a lot of people, but there are a lot of people out and it's still pretty quiet. Like if I wanted to come out here and read a book, I could, which is incredible to be. For this shot here, I feel like it sums up sort of pretty well, like with like these gorgeous buildings, expensive cars. I try to go low, wide angle, try to get both. Let's just see if we can get a little closer here. All right. Yeah, like that. Along the river again. It is not as sunny as the other days, but it is still really gorgeous here. Right here, I'm trying to get like some messing with some foreground. So we have like the railing here, we have like the pedestal here, and then we have the actual cathedral in the background. So I'm trying to do something with this. It's hard to do this one handed, not gonna lie. There we go. So I'm trying to find this one place. It was a really cool view of the clock tower somewhere around here. Maybe that might be it. But. I didn't have the right lens at the time that I wanted to get like the shot. Like I'll put up whatever shot I had right here, but I really want to try to take it again with my 100 to 400. So let's see if I can find it. So truthfully, I failed my mission yesterday. I could not find the same alleyway that I was looking for, but I'm pretty sure I remembered it today. So I'm gonna go retrace my steps, see if I can actually find that alleyway. Um, but yeah, it's a gorgeous day. I'm powered by my coffee in this morning, so today's looking up. Fingers crossed I don't feel a second time. Okay, I remember this place, Lindenhof. 
Okay, I'm back at the Lindenhof uh, Overlook, and this is promising because I'm pretty sure I was here right before I saw the uh, that really cool alleyway. All right, I am going to enjoy the rest of my coffee, enjoy the view, and then back to find that alleyway. Okay, I might be a certifiable idiot. So, this is Lindenhof right here. Oh, the bright sun. And this is the alleyway that I was talking about. So that van there, I need that to move. So looks like I'm camping out for a little bit and gotta be patient. So I'm at 100 zoom right now. And you can kind of see that the tower looks pretty big. Cause, you know, just with the crop factor, you're actually emphasizing the compression the extra zoom doesn't actually create the compression, it just kind of like, you know, accentuates it. And as soon as I start to zoom in, the tower gets bigger and bigger and relative, just because it's so much further away and closer to the other objects than I am. I think I'm explaining that correctly. Okay, so you can't really see this, maybe a little bit. This is not the exact shot that I want, but wow, this is hard to do one hand, especially with the mega zoom, but that van is not moving anytime soon, so I'm gonna make the best of it. Yeah, this is hard to do, jeez. Come on, Van, you can move. Give me that shot. Give me the shot. This is the view that I can get really well with a wide angle, but I really wanted to be like, get the telephoto a little bit, but yeah, this Van is right here. So uh, I'll put up some of the photos, the shots I think I got with the compression, I'll put up the one with the wide angle too. Hopefully you can't see what I was going for with that. It's a pretty cool view. I don't know if I can get a tram going by. It would be kind of cool. If this trip has taught me anything, it's that I need one of the hammer backpacks with like the side opening flap, because like this is just a pain in the ass. Yeah, because I mean, look at this. Just flat on the ground. Nice little view at least. Okay, this is actually a pretty cool view. So I'm going to try to go through these slats. We got like the, the road here, kind of opens up. And then I'm going on 35 mil. Let's see, I'm to, come on, focus. There we go. Again, this is very hard doing one-handed. Oh man, I gotta back up. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put some of the other ones I got that are pretty good in here. Oh, come on, focus. Damn it. So this is pretty much it for me in Zurich. I hope you guys found this video kind of cool, interesting, it's a new style for me. Uh, and hope, hopefully it inspired you to go out, camera and explore. So, with all that said, thanks for watching.